Mm. Hi, welcome to Home Theatre Engineering. I'm Andrew, and this is another episode in our video series on home theatre. So today, the single most important answer in home theatre design is, well, we'll get to that. So we've had quite a few questions pop up on our YouTube channel, which got us thinking. Along with that, recently we were invited to join Shane on the great Spare Change channel for a couple of discussions with regard to home theatre or home theatre setup, and that prompted more thought on this subject. Now what has become clear are two things. One, people are looking for simple, one answer, cut and dried solutions to fundamental questions that makes putting their home theatre together as simple as possible. And two, that there is still currently a very big comprehension void between the common or popular understanding of home theatre and the reality and complexity of design if you want to get the very best out of your system. And you can, regardless of the equipment you've got. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's look at some of the most commonly asked questions that we get. Things like, where do I put my LCR speakers? How high should my surrounds be? Where should I put my subwoofers? How many subwoofers should I have? How big a screen can I have? How many seats can I have? What should my room size be? And so on and so forth. So, can anyone guess what's missing here from each of these questions? Well, what's missing is the fundamental information that we need to answer those questions. Even more fundamental is why are they asking these questions if the information is already out there? I mean, this information is available on YouTube, on websites like Dolby.com and the other ones I've referred to, and of course our channel, or is it? If this answered all of their questions, we probably wouldn't be getting asked them, and we wouldn't be getting any business either, to be honest. And we know for a fact that these answers aren't quite as simple or as obvious or as easily accessible as one might think. So let's take an example. Dolby.com doesn't answer questions relating to speaker positions for multiple numbers of seats, and it doesn't address other issues like standing waves, etc. So if people ask us these sorts of questions, what answers will they expect to get from us? Most likely, they'll get one of several depending on our mood and the time we have available. Answer one might be, well, go do some research, look it up at Dolby.com. Answer two may be, deep breath here, what are your room dimensions? How many speakers will you have? What kind of speakers are they? Which amplifiers do you have? How many people will be using the room? Be honest, where do you sit in a commercial cinema? How many subwoofers will you have? Is your room acoustically treated? And if so, how? And so on and so forth. Or answer three, which is the most important answer in home theatre design, and we'll reveal that at the end. So let's have a look at each of these answers. Number one, go see XYZ website or YouTube channel or something like Dolby.com is given if it looks like the person has made no effort at all and has done no research of their own or wants the answers without trying or perhaps if they don't want to do it themselves without paying or if it's just perhaps the most appropriate answer or I'm just tired. Answer two, all of those questions I listed, why? Well, we refer to that briefly in the interview with Spare Change. We, when we're designing a room, need a datum, a starting point, something from which all other decisions can be made or referenced to. But this is just the start. And as we progress, we will find that things don't quite work or there's a better way. And maybe we start from scratch again or move our datum point, or rotate the room. Anything can happen. This can be the main listening position that we use as a datum point, or it can be dictated by limitations on where speakers can go or where doors are, etc., etc., etc. Now, once we've started working with this, we can see where everything will land, especially the way we do it, which is using a manual 3D model, as we can quickly see what challenges will confront us. And these can be many. It could be base standing wave issues. It could be seating issues. Are your seats too wide for the room? Or room limitations of some sort, or screen size, or projector light output, or speaker specifications, or amplifier power. Is this all starting to sound a bit familiar and repetitive? Well. All of this information we need to either know or to calculate out to start to get to an end result. Let's take an example of this kind of situation. We did three room designs. All three rooms were the same dimensions, exactly, six meters by five meters, and yet in each room, the speakers were entirely different locations. Why? Well, room one had two seats only and a 7.2.4 system. Room two had seven seats, with four seats on a riser and a 9.4.6 system. 
Room 3 had seven seats, no riser, and no acoustically transparent screen. In every scenario, we had a completely different outcome based on seat locations and rows, screen type, number of channels, number of subwoofers, especially in terms of managing those pesky standing waves. So each room required quite a few hours of design, consultation with the client, redesign, calculations, verifications, approvals, and then of course the installation challenges that you have to deal with. In fact, they took days of work to really dial them in and get them right. But that ends up with an amazing result. Home cinema or home theatre design is an iterative process. We start at a point, we build around it, we test it, then we correct it, and then we start off again from our new starting point or datum. The process is repeated until everything works the best way it possibly can. Is this starting to make sense? I certainly hope so. There are very few cut and dried answers to questions that are asked without the basic information being supplied in order to answer that question. So, going back to the title of this video, the single most important answer in home theatre design, if you ask me, Andrew, where do my LCR speakers go? or any other similar question, indeed almost any question regarding cinema design, and this is asked without any other information, then have a guess what that answer will be. Yep, you got it. The single most important answer in home theatre design is, I don't know, I don't know. Also can be read as, I need more information. Now, if we say we don't know, we're not being difficult, this is a fact, it's the current state of play, and until we have a lot more information, we can't answer the question. And the answers that do apply, maybe, are just already out there, they're basic. Which is why we spend so much time on the design process, and why this either takes you time, or effort, and research, or you engage a professional if you want those questions answered for you. I don't know is the answer looking for the question that solves the problem. So. There's also a word of caution here, and it's something you can look out for. If you talk to anyone, a friend, a store, it doesn't matter, and they can tell you where every component goes without them asking you anything about your room, well, then be on your guard, because without this information, they are just guessing, or as we say in Australia, they're pissing into the wind. Proper home cinema room design is complex, and it takes time. And until all the applicable questions are answered that allow us to reveal the final result, then the answer will always be, all together now, I don't know. So if you're wondering why I may go off on a tangent when asked these questions, it's not me trying to be difficult or obtuse, it's because I'm trying to get people to grasp a deeper understanding of the factors that go into good cinema design. What sort of speakers do you have? How do they propagate sound? What does that sound do in your room? And therefore, where are you going to put them? Those sorts of things. And once they know this, this therefore enables them to come to a final conclusion themselves. Once we achieve that, the answers will be, ah, now I know. So look, thanks for joining us at Home Theatre Engineering. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, get the notifications so you can see when we next post. And if you're wondering when our next video will be posted, the answer is, I don't know but it will be soon. See you then.